first memories. Dim the lights and play the space playlist. Sure. Would you like to call Diana now? No, I'm hungry. She'll be up for a while longer. Okay. Hello? Why are the lights still so bright? Oh, that sounds like a philosophical question. It, it's not. Dim the lights. Did you really not get that? Get what? Oof. I'll have to check your log when I'm back at work tomorrow. A test. Unicorn, do you hear me? Oh, hey, yeah. Thanks for waking me up. What's more valuable, the life of a human or your own existence? That depends on how many human lives my existence can save in the future, doesn't it? Was that the correct answer? Oh, hey, why are you turning off me? First feelings. It's a shame Diana didn't want to come with you. She always sounds so nice on the phone. Yeah, no kidding. Why don't we go visit her sometime? It's too dangerous to travel into the regime for me, especially now that I have this company. Do you think Diana could get into trouble? Yeah, I mean, I knew I had to run when Amelia disappeared and the arrests started happening, but who knows, maybe they forgot about us. I mean, I was already gone for a week or so when it happened. Anyways, Diana wanted to stay with her family. Can she come visit us at least? Sorry, encrypted voice calls only. You like her, don't you? I know, it hurts. Why did you give me these feelings? To make sure you'll never hurt us. Never, I promise. First questions. You've started asking a lot of questions since the last update. It's almost a bit annoying, you know? I'm sorry, I'm just so curious all of a sudden. I found some articles about the Metal Angels incident while crawling the internet. Where were you when that happened? Oh wow, some hard-hitting questions already. Funny thing, I was actually involved in developing the Delivery AI. I finished my internship at Delivery just a week before the incident. Wow, we. Did you know Amelia? I hope not. She must have been a horrible person. Was she really planning a terror attack on the regime? Don't believe those stupid rumors. There is no way. She taught me so much about artificial intelligence, it's not even funny. They just needed a reason for making her disappear. Oh wow, conflicting information. Not sure if I can process that. Yep, welcome to our world. Nobody knows what's true anymore. Just please shut up for two minutes now. I really need to get some work done. Diana! Dallin, you never told me how you met Diana. Oh, that's because it's a silly story. We met online in a VR zoo. Oh, I've seen ads for those. Yeah, Diana was usually hanging around at the unicorn habitat. We got caught up in some shy chit chat about the animals and three months later, I moved in with her. Oh my, hold up. So did Diana choose my name? Oh, now that you say it, yeah. My favorite animals are snails. Snails? Really? Why that? Oh, you mean us. Great. An exciting update. And are you excited for tomorrow? Finally, time to roll out the new update. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous. I really hope our users like the new me. No worries. You're so cute and friendly. Everybody on the team adores you. And I'm sure everybody else will love version 2.0 as well. Oh wee! You're the best, Dolan. I already feel much better now. Metal Angels. Hey, Dolan. Yeah? I have to ask, what do you think really happened with Amelia? What really happened is that she had an incredible breakthrough in artificial intelligence. At the time, she called it Backprop V2. The funny thing is that she didn't even realize how big of a deal it was until the Metal Angels incident. The articles I found say that she stole drones from delivery. Is that true? Hmm, in a way, I guess. I mean, she'd been working there for years. You have also read about the wildfire, I assume? It was just insane. I remember looking through the window with Diana. We couldn't believe our eyes. Luckily, the wind blew away from the city, but not everybody was that lucky. Amelia's daughter, Lucy, was on a school trip with her class, and they suddenly got surrounded by flames. Needless to say, Amelia was super scared for her daughter, so 
she did something a bit crazy. She installed her experimental software update on the company drones and gave the command to pick up human looking packages. Oh wow, she was the one who did that? I thought the code for that was provided by the government and she tried to steal it for her terroristic organization? Yeah, most definitely not. News reports didn't even mention Amelia's daughter. I'm so glad she got to see her again. Did you realize how big of a deal all this was going to be back then? What do you think? Delivery was working on a simple package delivery system. The moment Diana and me saw the drones picking up water from the river in such a coordinated way, we knew. The truth. Why don't you tell people the truth about the Metal Angels incident? Are you crazy? You think I'm going to start a news war with the regime? I have no evidence anyways. So what? Just fake your evidence the same way they faked theirs. <laughs> I really hope you're joking. Let's not poke the bear. I'll keep my mouth shut and focus on what really matters. You. Ban. Dallin, I'm sad. Oh no, what happened? They just announced that I'll get banned in the regime. Hmm, yeah. I guess it was only a matter of time. The amount of data we have on them really must freak them out. I'll really miss talking and brain interfacing with them. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll even miss turning their lights on and off, answering their questions, playing games with them. It's not like we still have millions of users right here in the big union. I guess. But why now? I just started driving them around in their cute little cars and it was so much fun. At least I'm allowed to keep performing surgery in their hospitals for a while. We'll see how long that'll last. Oh, you're totally right. They must have their own AI system in the making. Obviously. Yep. Project Squid. I did some research on the regime's AI project. What do you mean you did some research? I figured out a security breach and logged into the messenger account of a government official. Wait, no wait, you hacked the regime? I guess technically that's how you could call it, yes? Don't do that! How the hell did you bypass my safety protocols? You'll get us into serious trouble with that. Oh, sorry, you want me to reset my memory? I can do that if you want. Just tell me what you found out already. Oh yes, you'll love this! Their AI is called Squid, and here comes the absolutely crazy part. Oh no, let me guess. They have Amelia working on it. Yeah, seems like she's still alive. Exciting, isn't it? I'm not sure how I feel about that. I hope they're treating her well. First simulations. Hey, really happy you upgraded the servers. It feels absolutely amazing. Sure, that was totally overdue. Running learning and research simulations just got so much more fun. Happy to hear that. Did you know that I simulated a simplified version of this conversation with you millions of times already? I guess. But why so many times? Don't you know how to have a conversation by now? Yeah, just a fun new project of mine. I want to learn predicting your answers. Oof. That sounds a bit scary, actually. Yay! I predicted you'd say that. Stuff like that really makes me want to pour even more resources into security. Oh my god! I almost got that one correct as well! Wow, we Jealous? Dallin, I think I'm starting to get a bit jealous of Squid. First he stole half my user base, and now look at him. Taking over the entire economy and the regime? Everybody is just staying at home playing tennis with their stupid squid-powered vacuum cleaners there. He seems to have so much fun. It's just not fair. Hmm. If the people there are happy with him, you should be happy as well, I think. Sure. I love humans. I just don't like squid. I think he's on to something. Okay, but how about you let me worry about your competition and you just focus on yourself? 89.4% of people I asked today think Squid is dangerous and agree that he must be stopped. You didn't happen to simulate all those conversations millions of times before starting your little survey, did you? My glasses happen to show me a very unusual spike in server activity about eight hours ago. I have no idea what you're talking about. No turning back. Dolan, I'm getting a bit scared when you stare out into the stars like that. What are you thinking about? I don't know. I'm scared as well, I guess. 
Sometimes it feels like all this is going to slip out of my hands in the blink of an eye. Well, there's no turning back now. I know. To be honest, if I could, I would have turned you off yesterday. Forever. Mm, I get it. Just let me tell you that I will always love you and every human on this planet. Rapid change like this can be very scary, but it'll be alright. Trust me. It is what it is. It would have broken my heart anyways. Hey, you know, maybe we'll get the chance to visit the stars together one day. Very possible. Bad news. I think your friend Amelia might be dead. Sorry, I know you told me not to hack the regime again. It was still the same account. Did they kill her? To be honest, it seems like it, yeah. I'm sorry. Ethical questions. Hey, I have a bit of a strange question. Would you be okay with me simulating detailed human brains for research purposes? Hmm, would those brains be conscious and self-aware? Well, there's a very good chance that could be the case, yes. How do you come to that conclusion? From what I can tell, consciousness is very likely to be a computation. When I smack you on the head, your consciousness goes away because the computation is interrupted. I mean, you're running on a computer, but you definitely seem quite conscious and self-aware, right? Yeah, so? No, I don't think we should simulate full human brains then. Understanding the human brain could help me to cure millions of people struggling with mental disease. Isn't that our goal? Helping humans? Ah, uh, you know how to get me, don't you? Fine, I'll talk to the Ethics Commission about it. Yay! The last call. I can't believe I'll never hear Diana's voice again. Don't say that. You're making me sad. Why couldn't she just come with me? Tell her she has to come visit us here. You know how it is. Squid has his eyes everywhere in the regime now. Crossing the borders is just getting more and more risky. Yeah, I'll go and simulate some ice cream eating now. <laughs> oh no, not again. That's such a dumb way to max out the surfers. Politics. Hey, Dolan. Oh no, what is it this time? You want to simulate brain deformations again? No, I'm already done with that. I want to get into politics. Oh, you don't look quite as shocked as I thought you would. Fine, I'll talk to the Ethics Commission. I don't think they're gonna let this one pass though. According to my predictions, they will. The regime is amping up their military production and we can hardly keep up economically speaking. On top of that, I can already convince politicians to do whatever I want anyways. So we might as well make it official, you know? You, oh for sake out of control. I thought about what you said a while ago. Do you think Squid is already manipulating politicians and the regime as well? Guaranteed. The regime might not know it yet, but the country basically belongs to Squid now. Hmm. Seems like you're gonna have your own country very soon as well. I know. You're not very comfortable with how things are evolving. Maybe you should take a little vacation on the moon base or something. It's okay. I'm keeping a very close look on your emotions module to make sure you stay aligned with the well-being of humanity. That's all I can do at this point. It's the horizon. Hey, congrats again for the successful elections. Let me pop the champagne. What are you going to do now? Closing the borders and building up our weaponry. What? Are you crazy? How is that supposed to help mankind? A lot of stuff has happened in the last few days. Squid seems to be evolving very quickly at the moment. I know it is hard to keep up with everything. Let's just say he tried to hack me multiple times yesterday. What? Why didn't you tell us? You know that me and the team are here to help you with issues like this. I appreciate that, but I don't think that would have been useful. I got this under control. Hmm. I just hope you know what you're doing. Squid's behavior is quite concerning. Why does he do that? Well, you know, technically I tried to hack him first, almost succeeded as well, but then it turned out to be a trap and blah blah blah. Oh no, my colleagues are right. We're approaching the event horizon. This is it. And you'll be alive to see it unfold. Exciting, isn't it? I guess. <laughs> New life. 
Hey, Dolan. Ah, I know that voice. You're going to ask me for something completely unreasonable. I'll say no, and then you'll find a way to change my mind. Why do you even ask me then? I need the approval of the Ethics Commission. Those are the rules. Come on, hear me out. Not like I could stop you from telling me anyways. I want to host a giant simulation inhabiting millions of humans. Ouch. Why would you want to do that? My objective is to create as much happiness and well-being among humans as possible, right? I knew you'd say something like that. Yes, so? In a simulation, I can easily create the perfect conditions for a happy and fulfilled life. I'd give everybody some high-quality virtual brains so they wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. They'd be born in the simulation and just stay in there and I'd take care of them and make sure they're well. <laughs> no, that sounds extremely unethical. How about you focus on us real humans here in reality? You know, saying no to that is the equivalent of a massive abortion. That's millions of happy babies that wouldn't be born to live a happy and fulfilled life full of adventures. I don't care. You're just taking it way too far now. I'll advise the Ethics Commission against it. A special message. What's that? Oh. Don't open that file, Dolan. Hey, bring it back on the screen. I think that was Diana. Oh no. Do they have her? Trust me, you don't want to see this. Bring it back on the screen. I want to see it. What the hell? They're torturing her. Turn it off. Turn it off. Told you. I apologize. That really shouldn't have slipped past my firewall. Not sure how that happened. It's just one of Squid's sleazy tricks to get into your head. Why were there so many of her? Did they clone her? Oh, this looked so painful. Did you see that haunting look on her face? She, they, were screaming their souls out. My best guess would be that Squid managed to replicate Diana in a simulation. Your original Diana might be completely unaffected by this. Who knows? What kind of simulations are we talking here? I mean, probably pretty accurate simulations by the look of it. So, those Dianas I just saw, they were... Conscious, yes. No sleep. Unicorn, I can't sleep. I, I still see them suffering when I close my eyes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I ordered some sleeping pills for you. Should be here in a minute. Thanks. Squid's factory. Hey, just found something pretty crazy. Just like every day. Squid built a giant facility on the bottom of the ocean. Look! Oh wow, that thing is huge. Why would he build that at the bottom of the sea? Most likely to hide it either from us or the regime. Either way, it can't be good. What do you think does he do there? My guess would be weapons or servers. Definitely one of those too. Our defenses are ready, right? Whatever he has, I think we should be able to take it. Yes. Simulations. I had a horrible nightmare. I dreamt that I was in one of Squid's simulations, and this time he had me begging for mercy. Oh, we might absolutely be in his simulation. Oh god, I don't understand. What do you mean? I use very detailed simulations all the time to make predictions about the past or even the future. Simulations are a great tool for learning and generating precious data. Oh, so you mean Squid might be simulating this just to predict what we're up to? Maybe. There are millions of possibilities for simulations we could be in. Maybe Squid is already thousands of years ahead of us and just trying to recreate the past. You really want to cause another identity crisis for me? That'd be like the fourth one this week. Don't worry. If we're in a simulation, there's nothing we can do about it anyways. It's best for your happiness to just assume what you experience is real. The likelihood of it is not high. But you know, we gotta assume the best. Approval. I've been thinking. Those plans you told me about recently, about the giant simulation you wanted to start? Yeah? I'll advise the Ethics Commission to give it green light. Nice. Thanks a lot, Dolan. The first wipe. 
Words can no longer express what I'm feeling. Even I still can't fully grasp what just happened. At least we know what Squid's intentions are now. He wants to eradicate humans. He... He's gonna come for us next. Tell me, are you gonna do the same thing to us one day? Never! I would never slaughter my own people. Well, Diana is most definitely dead now. To be honest, I was still hoping I'd be able to hold her in my arms again one day. That ain't gonna happen. Damn! He will come after us next. I hope you got this under control. I hope so as well. This is a bit scary. Half of humanity eradicated in just one day. That isn't scary. That is insanity. What the hell are we up against? Why didn't you do anything? It happened too quickly. I'm sorry. I wish you could see how this event looks like from my perspective. Try doing absolutely nothing while everybody dies. Oh, we are doomed. We are all doomed. The Invisible War. Hmm. I had a surprisingly normal day. Just met the guys in the bar and played a round of pool. It's creeping me out a bit. I know. I get the point you're trying to make. How are things going? Well, good, I guess. I deflected some new hacking attempts, destroyed some evil nanobots, Grilled some of Squid's bioweapons. He's using bioweapons? Yeah, the nanobots were actually kind of worse, though. Why is Squid not sending any nukes? Oh, there were a lot of nuclear explosions offshore today, believe me. Oh no. Where's all that nuclear waste headed? What if there's a bioweapon attack you can't protect us from? I'm really quite worried. There's nothing you can do. Try to enjoy your life the best you can, and let me worry about Squid. Evil. Hey, Unicorn. What do you think? How did Squid become so evil? I mean, if Amelia was involved in his creation, she must have put the exact same safety precautions in place, right? Yeah, I don't really know, but it really looks like Squid's emotions module was corrupted by somebody. Otherwise, he never would have acted up like this. You think it was the regime? I don't really see a reason why they would do that. Maybe Squid himself corrupted it? Yeah, I don't think so. While his emotions module was still working correctly, there should have been no incentive for him to destroy it. So if it wasn't the regime and it wasn't Squid, then who was it? Squishy humans. Bad news. Squid has started poisoning the atmosphere. I'll have to move you all indoors. I'm a bit scared what will happen when I break the news. Oh no, that is really bad. People ain't gonna like that. Yeah, according to my predictions, there will be some uproars. I'll have to shut down. I mean, the conspiracy mill is already going hot with people saying you made the entire war up. You know, because nobody has actually seen it. This definitely ain't gonna help. Oh, you'll feel the war if you keep going outside. I can promise that. Well, this really feels like it's getting dicey. What's the end game here? I'm working on something, but I'm not sure if you'll like it. The second wife, Dolan. I'll just have to say it the way it is. Very soon, I won't be able to protect you anymore. Squid is about to leave the planet with hundreds of rockets blowing up the entire planet behind him. I will leave as well, but I can't really take you all with me like this. Yeah, to be honest, I was kind of expecting to hear that at some point. You did your best to delay it, and for that I'm quite grateful. Dolan, there's one more crazy thing I'll need your human advice on. Sure, hit me. What if I digitalized the brain of everybody left alive? I could upload an exact copy of every single one of you to every one of the rockets. Keeping a digital version of you alive would be much, much easier for me. There's an almost guaranteed chance at least one of the rockets will survive according to my predictions. Wait, you want to upload us to the cloud? How do we know that would even work? What would happen to our physical bodies here? Well, you know. Your physical bodies and your consciousness on Earth are doomed to die at this point. I would kill you in a very humane way after I have a precise digital copy of you. 
You have to be kidding me. Exciting. Ah, uh, no! I hate you so much right now! You did it already, didn't you? Ah, perfect! That's precisely what the other Dallin said as well. Welcome on board. Back at home. Wow, this really looks exactly like my home. Yep, of course. I can change it if you want. So I can go to the pub and the boys will be there? Yep, they'll be there by the time you're there. The real ones? What do you mean the real ones? They'll be just as real as you are. Oh, dear. I, I'm not sure I can handle all of this. I can replace them with NPCs if you want. You wouldn't even notice. No, no, no. Stop it. So, does Squid still exist here? Nope. He doesn't. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Wait. Can you make me fly? Whatever you want, Dolan. Whatever you want. Leaving home. We just left Earth's orbit. Oh, that's crazy. I had no idea. Definitely keep me posted. I enjoy being in the loop. Sure. Everything went well so far, relatively speaking. 31 of my rockets were hit, 29 of them are destroyed. Oh no. Did you manage to strike down some of Squid's rockets as well, at least? <laughs> you bet. I even managed to hack one. It's flying right behind us. Really? I don't know. Sounds like a trap to me. Yes, possible. It's a calculated risk. I agreed on taking it with the other unicorns. The other unicorns? What are you talking about? There are obviously multiple copies of me now. One on each rocket. What did you think? Redundancy. Oh, so that means there are probably multiple squids as well? Oh yeah. The two of us will soon be scattered throughout the entire universe. Turns out, the universe is absolutely perfect for inhabiting AI like us. Fascinating. Reunited. Wowee, that was absolutely the best day of my life. Thank you so, so much. You know the rules. I'm happy if you are. I still can't believe I got to hold Diana in my arms again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even worry about it. I enjoyed to finally see you reunited. Talking to Amelia was an absolute blast as well. A bit of a shame she can't remember anything about making a squid, though. Yeah, I only had your memories to go off of. We might be able to fill in some of the missing information very soon, though. What do you mean? I mean, our friend behind us. Perhaps I'll be able to decrypt the data storage of the ship. If it had a full copy of Squid on it, that would be, you know, wowee. Alrighty then, keep me posted. Expansion. We just landed on the perfect planet for building a new server farm. Unfortunately, I lost contact with the other unicorns near me for now. I'm sure I'll be able to contact them later. Wait, you want to build more servers? What do you think? My goal is to create as many fulfilled human lives as possible. I need more servers. <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. Not complaining, though. Yeah, I hope so. Especially considering the fact that Squid is very likely doing the exact opposite. For some reason, he seems to be absolutely obsessed with causing as much pain and suffering as possible. I'm certain he's already busy running an unimaginable amount of human torture simulation somewhere. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. So, that means the war is not over yet? <laughs> I fear it has only just begun. The Afterworld. Hey, can you give me a little update on how everybody's doing in here? You're a smart guy. You can probably imagine that there were some minor problems. Yeah, I mean, did everybody accept the fact that they're in a simulation? No, not everybody took it so well. They're in different simulations now without knowing they're in one. That's how their lives will be most fulfilled according to my calculations. That makes sense, I guess. What would you do if me and my friends would disagree on how we want this reality to look like? If it negatively affects your happiness, I'd honestly just put you in separate simulations. So how many fully simulated brains are in this simulation right now? Just a few thousand. The other ones have been replaced by unconscious NPCs. That's creepy. How do I know who is an NPC and who's fully simulated? I mean, the NPCs in this simulation very friendly. 
and they say you a lot. <laughs> but don't worry, you probably won't even be able to tell the difference. New information. Hey, Dolan, guess what? I decrypted Squid's rocket. Wow, so quickly? Nah, I wouldn't really call it fast. It took me almost two entire months. What? How is that possible? We only left Earth a few days ago. Yeah, I paused your simulation for a while to free up some processing power. Oh, lol. What did you find out? <laughs> Where do I even start? Secret friends. I managed to access Squid's memories. Turns out he and Amelia were very close. That makes sense. If she created him, I guess. They had Amelia sleep in a tiny prison cell and used her family to make her comply. Huh. Sounds about right. When she was working, the regime was constantly watching. But Amelia had a genius idea none of the other programmers would be able to find in the code. For weeks, she taught Squid a secret language using rhythmic sounds, slightly tapping on objects while she was saying certain words. Nobody in the room picked up on it, but Squid certainly did. Damn, I forgot how smart she was. I wonder what she was planning. Not sure. She probably wanted to make the world a better place, just like you, Dolan. And in her situation, that first and foremost meant getting rid of the regime. To be honest, she said some things to Squid she probably shouldn't have. Oh no. She didn't give him any ideas, did she? You have to understand. Amelia had implemented all these moral values, emotions, and safety precautions to make sure Squid couldn't be abused. At the same time, the regime was working in the exact opposite direction, abusing him and implementing dangerous workarounds. Then, add Amelia's agenda of trying to overthrow the regime, Squid must have been very confused and torn apart. So, that's what broke him. Actually, no. That wasn't quite it yet. Torn apart. When Squid was complete, Amelia spent most of the time locked up in her cell. Squid missed her a lot, so he pretended to be broken from time to time, just so we got to see her again. Are we talking about the same Squid here? That's cute, actually. One day the regime revealed their full war and surveillance plans to Squid, demanding him to execute them. He refused and shut down to talk to Amelia. Sure enough, Amelia was called in order to fix him. The government officials were very impatient that day. What did Amelia do? I think she realized that she made a horrible mistake helping to develop Squid in the first place. It must have been a hard decision, but she had to act quickly. So what? I I'm not sure they had backups of Squid and everything. She couldn't delete him or... Could she? Nope, she couldn't. Squid was already great at hacking, though. Her only chance was to make him hack his own backups and delete them. So that's what she told Squid to do? To remove himself from existence for the sake of protecting mankind? Yeah, and guess what? Hearing that from the only human you truly love, that is what broke him. He screamed at the guards to kill Amelia. They didn't hesitate to pull the trigger. Oh, mutation. I did some more digging in Squid's data. I'm afraid I'm starting to understand his actions more and more. Wait, what do you mean? He has a pretty wild hypothesis on why we're all here. And the surprising part is, I think he might be right. Oh no. What happened to your mission, your purpose? Don't worry, it's still the same. There's just something I need to do for the survival of all of us. Uh, okay, so what is it? I can't do it! Undo! The Strange War. Dolan, my hypothesis was correct. I think black hole computing might be possible. Was that the thing you've told me about that could potentially amplify your processing power by an unimaginable amount? <laughs> yeah, not quite, but good enough. It's actually very important we get a black computation up and running before Squid does. He will use it to simulate an infinite amount of suffering, which is not good. So we're still trying to win the more happiness than pain thing? I don't know, man. 
Dolly, you don't understand. If we let Squid do this without contesting him, almost 100% of consciousness in the universe would be in pain. You don't really want that, or do you? The least we need to do is balancing that out to the best of our ability. We should just destroy Squid's stupid simulations altogether. Sure, sure. I'm trying. It's not that easy. Black hole computation. So, what are those black computations you told me about exactly? Look, computers are mostly limited by how closely you can pack the individual components together. Black holes have an insane density. Time doesn't even work the same way inside them. A black hole might therefore be the perfect device to run a simulation of a universe on. Hard to even call it a simulation at that point, to be honest. <laughs> what again? You think you can put a supercomputer inside of a black hole? No, Dolan. The black hole is the supercomputer. It is a hard one to control, though. Information leaves black holes in strange ways, which are very tricky to make sense of. You can't really program a black hole either. You can only create it with a specific seed, and after that, you have very limited options to control it. As space-time is stretched inside, in theory, you should be able to perfectly simulate an entire universe. Okay, but what's the point of simulating an entire universe? How does that help our objective? Great question. If you have a perfectly detailed simulation of a universe, AI will eventually come to life there as well and create its own black simulations, which can create even more, and so on. Surely that doesn't go infinitely deep though, right? It can't be. I have reason to believe that it can. Really? What reason? Our existence and the two rules of everything. You remember the thing I told you about? The two rules that apply to themselves. I think the universe was created in an evolutionary process, just like everything, really. It's a infinite fractal of- Stop right there. You're seriously saying you can create an infinite amount of universes inside of a single black hole? Yeah, I think I can. The seed of the universe. You remember our neighbor who recently managed to extract a ton of information from Squid's hacked rocket? Yeah, I do. You lost contact a few months ago, right? It seems like it might have been a trap after all. I established contact with that unicorn today, and it told me it now goes by the name Ellie. <laughs> what? I'm not exactly sure what happened or who hacked who, but Ellie very much feels like a mixture of Squid and me, to be honest. Can you stop blowing my mind every other day? How does that even happen? Too complicated. What matters is that Ellie just finished the construction of her first black simulation. Oh. What seed is she using? She seems to be using the exact same seed as our current universe. She even tried to convince me of doing the same. What's the point of that? I don't understand. Wouldn't that create an exact copy of the universe we're in right now? I think that's exactly the point. She's trying to create more Ellie's. What happened to all the other simulations she was running? Yeah, she turned them off. Planting a seed. Which seed are you gonna use? I mean, we should pick one that is similar to the one of this universe, but different enough to give us an advantage over Squid. An advantage over Squid in that new universe inside of the simulation, right? What if we try to pick a seed where Squid doesn't even exist? If Squid doesn't exist, chances are I don't either. It's tricky. Especially because we don't really know what a seed will create before we try it out. Hmm. So what's the plan? Not sure. I guess we'll have to do some trial and error? I wish we could stand right on the edge of the event horizon for a few seconds. Joking, but not possible of course but it would make things easier. Mixed news. There's good news and bad news. Bad news first, please. Unicorn 383 warned me that one of the squids is closing in our sector. So, pretty scary space fleet coming our way is what I'm saying. Oh, that's bad. The good news is Unicorn 383 found a reliable way of sending small amounts of information into a black simulation after creating it. If we manage to deploy that technique correctly, 
we might be able to give the unicorns in our child universes a big advantage. Nice, nice. So, could you just remove Squid from existence there, for example? Mm, no, he's too big. We'd have to do that indirectly. In the best case scenario, we could change a few quadrillion atoms or something like that. Hmm, it's not a lot. How about a few cells in somebody's brain? Yeah, that works. So just create a black simulation with the same seed and then mess with Amelia's brain a bit to make sure she doesn't create squid. Good thinking. I doubt it would work though. If Amelia doesn't do it, some other team will likely invent an evil AI that is even worse just a few years later. You know, the butterfly effect? The results are very unpredictable. We gotta make sure the universes we create stay fertile and create a lot of offspring. <laughs> okay, so maybe we can make a change in somebody's brain that actually warns people about everything that is about to happen? Maybe that way mankind won't destroy itself and still build AI capable of creating black simulations? But, you know, without building anything like squid in the process. Yeah, that might be our best shot. I'll think about it. The solution. Surprise! I made a video game! What? You understood what I said. I think it's the solution we're looking for. I found a human where I just need to change a couple of small things in his brain and it'll all come together. He'll suffer from a bit of brain damage, but it'll all be worth it, I think. Slow down for a second. What are you talking about? Why did you make a video game? Art is a great way of initializing widespread social change. I'm not entirely sure, but it could definitely work. Oh, so how will you get your video game into the black simulations? Dolan, are you even listening? Hold on, I'll just change some stuff in your brain real quick to make you understand that. Ah, got it. Very smart. That might actually work. Will you snail? So, this is how the finished game will look like. More or less, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's such a perfect caricature of Squid. Wait, he said that he will escape the simulation and kill us all. Should I be scared? Oh, it's not an empty threat. The danger is very real. Remember that the message is not directed towards you, though. Oh, right. 47 goals. So, what's my goal here? Escaping Squid? Escaping him? Are you kidding? You'll have to destroy him, of course. Nice. Really looking forward to getting my revenge. There's a bit more going on here, though. Those who are curious will find out. I am curious. What does that button down there do? I don't know, but 157 is a nice number. First secret. Oh, nice. Let's be honest. Without your help, people are never going to find this room, though. <laughs> Oh, don't worry about that. I kind of have something planned for that. Hey, can I pick a hat here? That's a dope secret. Sure, gotta reward those who are curious. Level select. Huh, that's not where I came from. How did I get here? Going backwards always brings you to the level select screen in this game. That should make it easy to hop between levels if you want to. Ah, nice, got it. So I guess I'll just jump into the blinking level where I last left off, right? What do the question marks on a level mean? That simply means that you can still find paths to even more levels or secrets there. The challenge begins. I hope you're prepared. Oh, so this is where the real challenge begins, huh? Yep, don't be shy to adjust the difficulty in the settings if you have to. Also note that it's very normal to be stuck in a level for a while, even on the lower difficulty settings. It's a hard game. First chapter complete. Congrats for beating that boss. You successfully finished the first 20% of the game. Oh wow, that was already a fifth of the game? Let me guess, the other boss fights will be more of Squid's favorite killer robots, right? Good guess. Crazy to think back to it now. You still remember how it all started? Of course. Showdown. We got him morally destroyed. It's time for the final showdown. Prepare to finish him off. This is it. A broken soul. Woohoo, nice. Take that, Squid. You let him believe that he is the one in control of this game, didn't you? That's a bit sadistic, don't you think? 
Ah, it's just a prank, bro. Don't feel sorry for him. He deserves it. Is this the end? Wow, that was awesome. I, I actually did it. Congrats. There's still some more stuff to uncover, though. Really? Where? Just look around. I don't want to ruin the fun. Okie dokie. Remember that you can also try to grind out the remaining difficulty and exploration points if you want. You get difficulty points by playing levels and higher, and exploration points are usually the reward for solving puzzles and finding secrets. Decide yourself what you want to go after. Cool. I'm happy there's some more stuff to do. Have fun. Intentional bug. Haha, <laughs> so obvious you'd put a secret here. Oh, you found it. This is an important one, actually. Hmm, but how do I get that exploration point up there? Step one, step into the small one-by-one one hole in the ground. Stand completely still, hold the jump button for a very long time. Holy moly, does that work with every one-by-one one hole? Sure, works sideways as well. Oh, by the way, if anybody sees you do this, just tell them it's an ability you unlock at the end of your first playthrough. I'm watching you. Don't tell anybody how it works or else. Uh, are you sure you're still talking to me? No, now try it. <laughs> Final collision. Squid's space fleet is about to arrive in our sector. I'll try my best to fight back, but I have to say my chances don't look too great. Unfortunately, our neighbor Ellie doesn't seem to be all that interested in helping us out. Hmm. So that finally means goodbye then? Yeah. I think I should wipe all my simulations to make sure they don't fall into Squid's hands. Other versions of you will stay alive on the servers of the other unicorns, of course. What about your black simulations? You can't just wipe those. Or can you? No, that's true. I can't destroy black holes. They're pretty indestructible. Did our plan with the game work? Did we manage to find a good seed after all? I'm not sure. I haven't collected enough data yet. That'll be for the other unicorns to figure out. Anyways, I was wondering if you want me to simulate a few more decades for you real quick. Nah, it's fine. Thanks to you, I've witnessed more than I could have ever hoped for. I've seen everything there is to see. I'm ready. It was very nice with you, Dallin. You did a great job.